Hello guys! Today we're going to talk about Red Hat certifications and this is my first introductory video about certifications and education related to Red Hat. I must admit Red Hat topic and the certifications themselves, the exams offered by the company, by Red Hat company, is a whole ocean. So it, they have much wider coverage compared to CompTIA in terms of the material, in terms of the certifications and compared to AWS or Azure. So as I said, this is an introductory video into the information about Red Hat. Red Hat certifications and this is a very wide topic and there should, will probably be a series of videos explaining different aspects of Red Hat certifications. To start with I want to highlight a few points about these certifications. They are better recognized. Please watch my video about the difference between Red Hat and Linux when I refer and compare the Linux Plus and LPIC certification. The uh, link should be somewhere up here or up there. So they are better recognized than introductory Linux certifications such as Linux Plus or LPIC. You might ask what do you mean under better recognized? I mean if you are passing these certifications for better career opportunities, which you probably do, they, the Red Hat certification is more valued by employers. It is more recognized among employers and you have better job opportunities with Red Hat certification. You might ask why? Well, there are several reasons, one of which of course the Red Hat operating system is widely used by serious big companies and by smaller companies as well. But since there is a subscription and everything, it is favored by big companies, airline companies, tech companies, social media companies, and etc. Second, very important point, never forget that, Linux Plus or LPIC or some different certification types are information based. When I say information based, I mean they have multiple choice questions. So you cram the study book you sort of memorize different Linux commands and etc. Because that's basically what we do. We try to explain, to understand the information while preparing for the certification. And then we try to remember it because there is, there is so much material and you obviously have to remember it in order to be able to answer the different questions related to that material on the exam. But Red Hat certifications are performance based. So there is no mix, no, it, this is not a mix of performance based or information based like in CompTIA. It is purely performance based where you have to do something based on the scenarios that they give you. And this something is usually in front of the computer on a virtual machine that had Red Hat, that has Red Hat on it. And you have to configure something in a way that the scenario asks. There are a whooping number of certifications provided by Red Hat and they, in total, they have 36 certifications. They, however, don't have the exam for all of these certifications. They have slightly over than 20 exams available to, uh, to obtain a certain certification level. So some of these certifications are stackable just with CompTIA, so you pass two or three certifications in a row and you receive one additional stackable certification. All of the certification, the whole certification list is available on their website that I will share under, linked of which I will share under this video. And for the easiness of reading, you can group these certifications by technology type. When it comes to orchestration, just the Red Hat operating system or the, the tools for developers, tools for orchestration, docker, containerization, and etc. Or you can group them by role on their website. So that depending on the roles that you are in or on the roles that you want to be in, they are grouped within, with, in specific groups. Um, some of the certifications require only one exam to obtain that certification. This is related to Red Hat Certified Engineer and Red Hat Certified System Administrator. However, for Red Hat Certified Architect, you need to pass five, at least five certification exams. I know this is tough, but you need to do that in order to obtain that certification. And these five exams are not 
solid are not i mean they are there are not the, there is no specific list of five exams that you have to pass to, to obtain this certification it depends on the architecture that you're trying to build in your company for example the, these can be five certifications related to red hat certified enterprise microservices developers or red hat certified jboss developers there is uh, an exo non-exhaustive list of certifications available to pass to get the architect uh, architect certification in total just to mention just to for you to see how interesting this is I'm gonna mention a few this is Red Hat Certified Specialist in Ansible Automation exam Ansible is a very popular platform for automation Linux Certified Specialist in Security Red, sorry, Red Hat Certified Specialist in Security Red Hat Certified Engineer in OpenStack and Red Hat certified specialist in high availability clustering exam I really loved these names of the exams because I can see that they have taken the small Linux topics that are that only seem small but yet very important and turned it into the whole certification exam and this is very nice because you really get a chance to know the topic to the to to the highest possible depth of it and research it for example there is a certification called linux red hat certified specialist in linux network tuning you might think that why this is important to tune network you just turn it on you put the highest possible bandwidth and etc but after working in it i realized that how hard it is to properly tune linux network based on your needs so for example there is correct packet size network packet size there is co correct um, window size for tcp connections there is correct tuning details for udp and etc and depending on which specific goal your server serves you need to tune network based on these needs so for example if your server is in dmz zone it's public facing server you need different network tuning if your server is private it needs different network tuning if your server is created to support an application that is using tcp only you need to focus to optimize network tcp performance if you're working on something that uses udp only you have to improve the udp performance and etc 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 so it is very important topic and you only come to realize this after working in it industry and being exposed to that the next point is that I mentioned this throughout my different of my videos but Red Hat certifications are more expensive compared to other available certifications on the market they cost at least $500 to pass however what I noticed about Red Hat certifications their objectives the list of objectives is very very clear very very on point so they don't have the specific pdf to download for objectives you it's just a separate tab on the web page for uh, on the page of the exam and objectives seem to be short but when i looked through the objectives of different exams that you have i was positively impressed by how on point they are for example it clearly states what you have to do what you have to install what you have to configure during the exam depending on a scenario in order to pass this exam so although the exam is performance based they did a very good job with making their objectives as accurate and as on point on point as possible this is certainly something that computer should learn because their objectives are usually especially with linux plus their objectives were poorly put together and the different topics that should have been grouped into one sub objectives were rather scattered around different objectives and just to remind you i passed linux 005 the newer version so i heard that in older version 004 the way how scattered and how incoherent the objectives were was even worse for this reason i really like it about red hat and exam but exam scenarios may vary so you may be asked to install or configure one thing and not be asked about another thing also it was in objectives obviously you have a specific limit to time limit to pass the exam and not all objectives can be asked throughout one exam 
What Red Hat offers, which I consider a very good business model, especially after reviewing what they've got, they have courses like hands-on courses with hands-on experience that provide you with hands-on experience and pre prepare you for different exam. Every exam has its own course that you can pass and this, will, this is supposed to prepare you for the exam. Also, they have the subscription to training resources. I honestly haven't seen something like this with other certification bodies. Other certification bodies just sell the bundles and everything else with, as a one-time purchase. But Red Hat has an ongoing subscription that can be used by the companies to educate their employers and get them to learn more about Red Hat. The subscription price, the lowest subscription price is around $4,000 and it keeps increasing on, depending on your position in the company. I don't know if it worth your money or not because I haven't passed any of Red, I haven't been involved in any of the Red Hat courses so far. But from the, but obviously if you've got resources to just participate in one Red Hat course that would prepare you for the certification, I would advise you to do so because as I said, they provide a hands-on experience rather than just providing the different bullets of information to pass the exam. This was a quick introduction into general Red Hat certifications and the main points of information about the Red Hat and its exams. In the next video series we will be discussing the most popular Red Hat certifications. As per their website, the most popular certifications are Red Hat Certified System Administrator, Red Hat Certified Engineer, Red Hat Certified Specialist in Containers and Red Hat OpenShift Administrator. In the, also in the next video series about Red Hat we will be discussing the certifications that are not popular but still are our common choice among people who want to progress in, in their IT career. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Remember that every subscription motivates me to prepare more videos, to pass more certifications and to provide you with more information about how to progress your career within the IT industry. Thank you very much for being with me today and have a nice day. Bye!